and it may come down to that. Uh, we've got another caller on the line. Katie from Sydney, welcome to Your Money, Your Call. What's your question for our panellists this evening? Uh, hi, I'm um, actually I'm just um, I'm a, a chartered accountant um, by trade, and um, I'm looking at starting a family in the near future, and um, looking to maybe start up a, a bookkeeping business. So I guess um, my question is just um, for any advice in in sort of starting up my own business, even though I have the necessary skills, um, I'm just not sure about how to get started. Why don't we hear from an accountant, Michelle? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's actually quite. I mean. It's actually quite easy to start your own business. It's just a matter of how successful you can make it. So um, I think one idea, one thing you need to do is check how many bookkeepers are in your area, what area you're going to service, um, how big do you want to get, what sort of clients are you after. And then these are, you need to start asking yourself a whole bunch of questions first before you can then go and decide uh, what structures you need to put in place, what licences you need. So you may decide that um, you're happy to, to service micro business on an MYOB or you know that sort of a program um, and therefore you need to work out well where do I advertise my skills to find those those um, clients so it, it, part of it is about developing the business plan and the and the marketing plan around that and then once you've sort of done a bit of homework in that respect then you can you know talk to your other chartered accountancy friends and sit around together probably because you probably don't need to to pay an advisor in that respect <laughs> um, and, and work out... Um, well, that's actually a really good point. Um, do you, should you get an independent accountant outside of your own accountancy firm to, to have a more impartial, if you like, view of your, of your business and how you're running it? I think so. It depends on what your friends are like. But uh, most of the times your friends want to tell you what you want to hear. So yeah. you do need someone to give you a bit of a reality check um, on what you want to do and what you want to set out. So um, it doesn't hurt to have someone independent. Also, it, you feel free then to discuss your finances openly with that person because you're not worried about your friend judging you mm. or you know whatever else emotional sort of things that go on with that. So... Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's it's a good idea to have someone completely independent um, for all those reasons because they're not influenced also by the environment that you're in with your friends or family. Um, and family, I think, are the worst, <laughs> to be honest, because... Do you want to say that again? <laughs> Hopefully my parents aren't listening. Yeah, or your husband um, or your children. <laughs> but, yeah, because... They've, in a way, they have a vested interest yeah. in you. So um, sometimes they want they, you to do well. They want you to do well, and sometimes you, you know you might. Although I would say that my father probably would be a realist in some respects, but you know they they sometimes tell you things or respond to your great idea because they don't want to discourage you. So um, sometimes it is good to go and, and talk to someone that isn't related to you or involved in your world in order to get a reality check. But to answer your question, Katie, I think it's about... The first steps I would do would be I'd be looking at, which I did with my own business, was, well, who am I up against in the area that I'm looking at um, providing my services um, and then doing an analysis on, on those businesses? What do they charge? You know, what sort of clients am I going to attract? Um, and then I sort of went from there. So um, they were my sort of my first steps when I was looking at putting my accountancy business in Balmain, which is where we are. Um, there's lots of accountants there, but I decided, well, what market was I after and do I fit within that market and therefore can I make some money out of it? So I suppose step one is, is doing your homework and, and doing the research and just seeing whether the, the business is a, or the, the idea is a viable business. Uh, listen, we're going to take a break. We